Hello everyone, good morning. Myself C Patel and today I am going to discuss the gate metal energy problem set 25. So in this problem set I have taken questions from the fracture mechanics and this is the first question. So this is the specimen in which there is an elliptical crack of the length L. Okay. This is the tensile stress that is acting on the specimen is 140 megapascal. The length of the crack that is elliptical is 3.6 into 10 is to minus 2 millimeter. Radius of curvature is 1.8 into 10 is to minus 4 millimeter. We have to find the magnitude of the maximum shear stress that exists at the tip of the crack. Okay. So let's see here. The maximum shear stress that exists at the tip of the crack is given by sigma m equal to 2 sigma naught into a upon rho t to the power 1 by 2. Here sigma m is the maximum shear stress as the crack tip that is the maximum shear stress at the crack tip. Now, sigma naught is the magnitude of normal applied tensile stress that is the normal applied tensile stress and A is the one half the length of the internal internal crack one half the length of internal crack that is A equal to L by Rho T is the radius of curvature of the crack, radius of curvature. Now, we have given the value of all this. Now we have to find simply sigma m. So sigma m will be equal to 2 into sigma naught and sigma naught is 140 megapascal. So 140 into now. We see that value of A is L by 2. So L, the length of the crack is 3.6 into 10 is to minus 2 millimeter. That is divided by 2. That is the value of A upon radius of curvature that is 1.8 into 10 is to minus 4 millimeter. So we need not to just change it to meter because this is simply the ratio and both are in millimeter. So both will be cancelled out and this is 1 by 2. Now if you solve this then this will be cancelled out 2 and 2 2 will be cancelled out. So basically we get this is minus 4 so this will be 10 is to 2. So 2 into 140 into 10 square whole to the power 1 by 2. This will give you 10. And if you solve it, the value will be equal to 2 at 0, 0 mega Pascal. So in the first case, the stress at the tip of the at the tip of this crack is two eight zero zero mega pascal. Now, so we see that the normal applied stress is one forty mega pascal, but the stress at the tip is one two eight eight. Sorry, two eight zero zero. It means that. The ratio of sigma m by sigma naught is 2800 upon 140 that is 20. So the normal stress is amplified 20 times. Okay. So the 
stress at the crack tip is 20 times that of the normal stress now this is this ratio is called the stress concentration factor and is denoted as kt so stress concentration factor kt gives the measure of degree to which an external stress is amplified at the crack tip and in that case it is 20 times of the normal stress now coming to the question number two question is calculate the critical stress required for the propagation of an internal crack of length 0.4 millimeter in alumina and the information given here is young modulus that is 393 GPA and the specific surface energy is 0 0.90 joule per meter square so we know that the critical stress required for a crack propagation in a brittle material is given by 2EYS upon pi A whole to the power 1 by 2. This is the critical stress required for the propagation of internal crack or to cause fracture. So it is also called the theoretical fracture strength that is the theoretical fracture strength. Now in this case we have to find the value of this sigma c that is the theoretical fracture strength or the stress required to propagation of the internal crack. Now this will be equal to 2 into E is for young modulus that is 393 GPA so we have to just convert into Pascal then it will be 10 is, is to 9 now surface energy is 0 0.9 so this is in SI unit so no need to change the value of pi is 3.14 and the A that is the one half of the age length and the age length is 0.4 mm so first we have to convert it into meter so this much meter and a will be equal to this much divided by 2 now whole to the power 1 by 2 if we just calculate the value of this then it will be equal to 33.56 into 10 is to 6 Pascal that is equal to 33.56 mega Pascal and the correct answer is D in this case now let's solve another problem and this problem has been asked in gate 2013 and the question is in a brittle material the maximum internal crack length is 8 micrometer if the young modulus is 400 GPA and surface energy is 3.14 joule per meter square then the estimated theoretical fracture strength is what so we have to find the value of sigma c in that case and we know that sigma c is given by 2 into young modulus into surface energy divided by pi into one half of the age length whole to the power 1 by 2 and in this case 2 into young modulus that is 400 GPA so we have to just convert it into Pascal that is 10 is to 9 now surface energy is 3.14 no need to change this is in SI unit the value of pi is 3.14 into crack length 
crack length is 8 micrometer so first we have to convert it into meter so this is in meter now the value of a is one half of this so divide it by 2 and just find the value of this expression and this is coming out to be 200 into 10 is to 15 whole to the power 1 by 2 and this is coming out to be again root 20 into 10 is to 8 pascal or 100 into 20 mega pascal and this is equal to 447.21 mega pascal so the correct option ht now so this is the critical stress that is required to cause fracture or the propagation of the crack in the brittle material we know that brittle material contains many small cracks and flaws when the magnitude of the tensile stress at the tip of the crack exceeds the value of this sigma c then the crack will propagate and will cause fracture so that's the end of this lecture thank you very much